Jamel, what was your take on tonight's game? Uh, it was certainly below our standards. I mean, we spoke about it at half time, we spoke about it after the game and said, that's not where we're at. You know, we're not a side that puts out a performance like that. But luckily, we scored in, I think, just after the first minute. And that looked like it was going to put us into good stead, but of course, it, it didn't really go that way. Second half, we were a lot better, but first half, we didn't really get going. I think the goal sort of took away from all the hard work we've been putting in recently because we sort of took our foot off the gas and mm -hmm. again we're a team that we keep going. Some people might look at um, a couple of months ago where we went to Canterbury and we won 7-1 mm -hmm. and only won 1-0 today. Was that a, a different setup that that Canterbury were playing tonight? I wouldn't say so. I wouldn't say so. I mean like when we played them away from home we went 1-0 down. You know, We were 4-1 up at half time and I remember the gaffer grilled us. You know, he was honest and he said, although you're 4-1 up, that's not a Sheppy performance. That's not a performance of players that put on a shirt. And I think that showed tonight. I mean, earlier in the season, we would go a goal down in order to wake us up. But now we're grinding out clean sheets. No matter how it's done, we're scoring, we're not conceding, you know, and that's put us into a good position in the league, of course. But again, it's it's playing against a side that are well-drilled and well-organised, regardless of how young or old their players may be. Um, we're an experienced bunch, you know. I mean, if that's the performance we put in last season, for example, I don't think we hold on to that. But again, we, we had to grind it out and we'll come out with three points. I mean, we might see ourselves as quite fortunate at the end of the day, but again, three points are three points, one nil or ten nil. They will count, don't they? One thing that has really stood out for Sheppy this season is the amount of clean sheets that we're, mm -hmm. we're collecting. For you, do you, do you think as a defensive unit this is probably the strongest Sheppard United backline that you've, you've played in? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. I'd say so. I think it shows as well. I mean, like, we've had some really, really good defenders in the past and of course we've got some really good ones now, but clean sheets isn't just add, it isn't just a back four, it isn't just the whole midfielders, it's the whole team. I mean, you look at some of the performance that the forwards players have put in as well, like leading from the front, we've got our wide players that are well drilled, our centre midfielders, our number 10, you know, whoever plays in there. And we've still got players to come back from injury, of course. So it isn't just as a defensive unit us keeping a clean sheet, it's the entire team, you know, because if we keep the ball, then the ball doesn't go in our net. And that's what we aim to set out to do. So it's not just us at the back that's grinding and, and grafting, it's everyone. Saturday, um, we draw our attention to, to the Cup. Um, we've got a big semi-final mm -hmm. at Glebe. Obviously, we was there a, f a few weeks ago. Do you, do you think we took enough from, from that game to... to go to Glebe on Saturday with perhaps a different different way of playing or a different mindset? Uh, I don't believe that we need a different way of playing or a different mindset because we only focus on ourselves. You know, we don't look at other teams and we don't set out to nullify anyone else. We only look at what it is that we can do to go out and put a positive performance in. So, of course, Glebe are a really good side, as everybody knows, and we went away to their place not long ago and we lost 2-0. But looking at that game and looking at how far we've come since then, and the performances and the results that we've got since then, we're a confident bunch, you know, like we look after each other and we're a group that we feel as though we can go anywhere, home or away and win, which is what we set out to do week in, week out. And then um, finally, for, for you personally, um, on your own current form, do, 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 you, do you think you're playing as well as what as you ever have done for Sheppey right now? See, it's hard to say because we've had such a stop start. Well, I've had such a stop start time since I've been here, you know. I mean, my first two seasons were cut short because of COVID. And then now, coming back from injury and the start of December, I believe it was, I've played week in, week out since then. And I'm feeling fit, you know, like I look after myself. So I feel like I'm in a good vein of form and long may it continue. And then also some more on top as well. So I'm just looking forward to the last couple of months of the season and... We're, we're doing really well, you know, like as I said before, everyone looks after each other and I feel in really good shape and everyone feels in really good shape. So again, we just go out and aim to win every single game. Brilliant. Thanks, Jim. Thank you.